Um, what, are the, what is the most likely cause of this patient's rectal bleeding? Anal fissure, colon polyp, hemorrhoids, antisusception, mechal diverticulum. A six-year-old is brought boy is brought to the pediatric clinic by his parents due to recurrent episodes of painless uh, rectal bleeding. His vital signs are stable and physical examination reveals a mild pallor. Laboratory test shows a mild decrease in hemoglobin levels and abdominal x-ray does not re reveal any abnormalities. Okay. Um, with that, uh, I believe anal fissures hurt. So I'm going to say no to that. Mechal diverticulum would be very much apparent, I believe. And so that's why they tell us, I think x-ray does not appear, show any abnormalities. And so I'm going to say no to that. Um, hemorrhoids? I just, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think that hemorrhoids appear in children. I feel like they're very, I feel like the, the population of hemorrhoids is very much older patients. So I probably wouldn't pick hemorrhoids. And interception, it's common in children. I don't know if it causes, I don't know if it causes, um, I, I mean, it could cause bleeding. I'm I'm thinking more, you'd have other stuff like colon polyp. Oh man. To me, a lot of these, to me, my answer that I was leaning towards colon polyp, um, but I don't think this answers a lot of my questions, like mild decrease in hemoglobin levels. Um, or mild pallor, colon polyp. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, maybe I actually would lean towards intussusception here. Okay. Um, I don't think colon polyp is the answer. I don't think it's hemorrhoids. I don't, I think anal fissures hurt. And plus you would see like, they would probably say, oh, by the way, we, when we look, there is a, a cut um, near like a peri, uh, perianal cut. Mechal diverticulum. I mean, it's a very common cause, but you usually see that among two years old um not six so i probably oh my gosh i'd probably leave with this all right it's actually going to be meckles oh. okay the reason why it's meckles is let's talk about this so what is meckles diverticulum it's a um persistent uh uh Adam, is it allen or allen or vitaline duck actually vitaline duck? vitaline duck yeah so what that actually means is a little small out pouching right usually kind of close to your belly button right mm -hmm. and it usually has heterotopic mu mucosa usually either pancreas or, or stomach yep. yep in there um and it likes to bleed and it sometimes it's very small so on extra you're not going to see that you know what i'm trying to say you're not going to oh, see oh wow well, okay yeah so one of the key things is if you have a kid that has um um um, rectal bleeding, right? That is painless. You got to be thinking meckles. Okay. Um, the, the other bleeding, um, for pediatric patients, that's abdom abdominal bleeding or rectal bleeding is into susception, but this is going to be painful. Is painful. painful. Okay. Yeah. And so when you say pallor, right, you know that he has anemia. Does it make sense? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he has anemia. Right. And of course, if you have meckles diverticulum and it consistently oozes, right. It oozes, 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 right then yeah. you're going to lose a lot of blood over a period of time. So, yeah. Okay. That Best answer is going to be Meckles here.